it comes so yeah today we're gonna sit down here and talk about what's going on in in our city uh we are in changkyun and we are students of jilin university so yeah what should we start with we i think we should start with how the the quarantine was in the beginning right mm, we can start with uh, what you uh how it started um in december yeah. it was yeah last week of december we, we started here in some rumors uh back in december we, we thought it was nothing at first and after that it got it, worse and worse and we thought it was going to yeah. happen only in china but it started spreading in other countries and it started getting worse and we started getting locked down in our apartments I cannot even go to his apartment and he cannot even visit my apartment. Everything yeah, was locked down. Yeah, back then it was like so hard like nobody would visit even if you want to visit your friend or you know or a relative here. It it was actually so hard because they they were not even allowing like for you to even visit somebody. That's how strict here they are, you know, the the communities. Actually the communities were open and everyone was just relaxed and all that, but when they went for the spring festive, the spring festive here is like January. it's around January mid January 20th. That's when like you know people when they started you know traveling and people were, like using the same trains and planes the cases started rising you know like you know it started like rising and rising and people started getting sick and people started like you know dying on the streets and uh, in the hospitals people dying in their houses that's when the government stepped up and they were like you know what hey yeah. like we have to like you know everybody uh, has to stay indoors everybody has to stay indoors that's when uh, they we, started we, realizing we actually go out buy stuff from a supermarket but uh one, one more thing our city is very far so it wasn't as serious as it was in the oh, south yeah yeah actually the city that we live is like far away like i would say in a plane it's like six hours yeah. yeah we are like far away from wuhan like where the epic center where it started from oh right now what we know is like it's getting better and also you know things are getting fine like people are going back like you know bit by bit to their uh, work places people are like you know opening people who had small businesses that back to business right now like restaurants and yeah. all that they're, they're, they're still measuring our temperatures though yeah, yeah, they're still oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're still measuring our temperatures even in our uh, apartments we have to yeah. send our temperatures every day did you send yours today i sent mine before i came oh yeah here, actually yeah. every like i do send every every morning when i wake up like we do measure our temperatures they give us a thermometer like in each each um international students and we do measure that we have to report it because they say that it's it's part of the regulation like if you yeah. for them to like you know Mandatory, know that yeah. how many people are like still okay or how many people have the symptom you know so they have to monitor each person so what do you think about our classes when do you think it's going to start our classes are uh, for me i think i would i'm, I'm going to say it's going to start um the, i think may mid may or in june because it, it depends on like uh like what do you think me like, i think it's going to go on like this until yeah. we get a vaccine and for yeah. university students they're not going to open anytime soon because they live in the dorms and you know how they live in the dorms yeah. eight people in one room so it's going to be really oh, yeah, bad yeah, yeah. for them if they came here and if it starts spreading it's going to be really bad so Actually, yeah, yeah. we're different than them because what i also kept and, to this and also we are international students for us yeah. it's even uh, less likely that they're gonna open because yeah. all yeah. our classmates are stuck back home yeah, yeah they're stuck back home and nobody like actually they also uh oh, was it last just week. last week there was an article like you know saying that um all the foreigners shouldn't come back here because like they they suspended the visas even teachers some of the teachers no, no, they, yeah they like went business. to enjoy uh their their winter vacation yeah. but they couldn't come back here Yeah, he yeah, don't yeah, enter yeah, China yeah. right now. Even one of our classmates, mm -hmm. uh, he was telling me he wanted to come here but he couldn't. Uh but for now, international students, uh we are having online classes. Uh, they take attendance every day, every morning. Oh, yeah. And they yeah, also yeah. send us the the PowerPoint presentation, the the documents, whatever we need to the study. study materials. Yeah, the study materials. They they, uh, they, they send it to us and we yeah. study them. It's almost done, right? This semester is almost done. Yeah, for it will us, be done. It will done. be done by next month international students you know most of them like you know went back because like they were panicking they were like you know what if china is like you know the epic center of this virus like it's better for us to go back to our home cities you know like they don't is, want it's fine cases from outside yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to 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 return to china exactly so what he said to yeah they don't want like you know cases coming back here and reinfecting their people so, so you guys who are outside china you guys better be careful wash your hands wear those masks don't go out yeah, yeah. unless you really need to go out to buy stuff don't go out yeah us we are safe because yes. uh, we started early i mean it affected us early we our cases started in december it peaked around what february that's the highest right in february oh yeah, that's yeah the, that's so the now for us there, there are still cases in, but it's not as high 
as it was back then. So yeah, yeah, we we made this video because you know we wanted to show our family members, our friends, and people who are curious about what's going on in China to show them what's going on. That's why we made this video. Friends back home, all my family members, they keep asking me. I'm tired of replying them individually. So we made this video to to let them know what how we are doing here. Yeah. Like how, like how is our daily life and all yeah. that, guys? It's actually way. It's so good. Like I can't even complain here, cause yeah. like you know, they have been t- yeah, uh, for compare, some reason. Yeah, comp- been yeah care compared to what we have been seeing in social media back home, it's better yeah. to be here than to be back home. The, for them, it just started right now. So it's, oh yeah, yeah. It just oh yeah. That actually makes sense. Right now, like yeah. you know, for us, we have been quarantined for like a whole two months. Yeah. January. Yeah, we're we're gonna end the video here. We have told you what's happening around here. Uh, if you guys want to see how we are uh, living here in China, you can mm-hmm. subscribe to the channel, and you can also uh, follow me on Instagram or his Instagram. All the links will be in the description below. I'll be uploading more FPV content soon. See you guys in the next video. Peace.